And people across the country celebrated as the det detainees were released from custody last night, but their win is only temporary. CBS 2's Lauren Victory is live at O'Hare with a look at what comes next. Good morning, Lauren. Good morning, Marissa. Well, as you saw in Adrena's story, a lot of changes in just 12 hours yesterday evening. We saw heartbreak from families here at O'Hare waiting on those detainees. Then late last night, this. That was around 1030 PM. Refugee advocates gathered at O'Hare rejoicing when attorneys announced that all detainees from the international terminal were released. At that time, the immigration rights experts told us they believed 16 people had spent the day in custody. This after flying in from countries on President Trump's temporary ban list. So this was huge. I mean, this was a very long day for a lot of people. There were a lot of groups that were here involved. Ayla was one of them, along with a lot of our partners. Um, and we were here kind of gathering all day. I've lost track of how many volunteer attorneys showed up here at O'Hare. Um, but we finally got word after a lot of effort and a lot of working with our congressional leaders and other partners um, that finally all the people that were being held had been released. Now, more legal aid for worried families is coming today at Sullivan High School on the north side. A two o'clock Know Your Rights seminar for immigrants and refugees is scheduled. It's particularly tailored for those from Iraq and Syria, but organizers say all are welcome. Back out here live at O'Hare, it's very quiet in Terminal 5 this morning, but we know that there's some confusion that remains. The Department of Homeland Security, for example, says that the temporary court order that released last night's detainees does does not affect Trump's overall travel ban. It's unclear what happens to people arriving today at O'Hare from some of those countries that are on the list. That's the very latest from Terminal 5. I'm Lauren Victory, CBS 2 News. Marissa. All right, Lauren, we'll check back with you in a bit. Thank you.